Death Show today at CPW TV. All right, this is the month of chasing Rocco to unify the titles. Through all the blood, the sweat, the tears, tell me one thing, how does it feel? No, Ray, you would have asked me a couple of weeks ago. Probably wouldn't have been so happy about it. But that was a battle. I don't know if you guys all saw it. That was a fight. You know, there were times when I really wanted to give up. And I thought about it. So then every one of you guys, I heard you yelling. So then, you know, I just had to stick with it. You know, that, that win is for everyone here. It feels pretty good. All right, words from our unified champion, Sonny C. Tag team tournament. The next will decide the Tornado Lucha Libre singles champion. And you heard it a creation of a new title called Tornado Lucha Libre title. A secondary title to Sunny Seas Heavyweight. We'll have diagrams later on that on the website for you guys. But remember, starting next week, Ray Martinez saying. Very interesting. He's saying you cannot be in both tournaments. You can either go after the singles or go after the tag. So you have to make a choice. Very interesting. Will tag teams go for the tag titles or will they go for the singles title tournaments? Very interesting. All right. Up. Speaking of tag team, here we go. We've got El Furioso and Killer Carl Davis versus Anarchia and AWOL. To the best of my knowledge, none of these four men have ever tagged with each other. El Furioso, Anarchia starting up hot. Leg drop from El Furioso. Goes for the scoop slam. Goes for a second one. He's calling for the third. Reverses. Oh, elbow to the stomach. Goes for the suplex over the top row. Lucha Libre rule states that when two men leave, the other two can come in. You don't have to tag if your partner leaves the ring. So here comes Chiller Carl in black. A wall in camouflage. Killer Carl gives A wall the Irish whip. Ducks the clothesline. Clothesline of his own. In comes El Furioso because Carl left the ring. Holds that headlock onto AWOL. We've seen AWOL pretty dominant as of late. Goes for the back body drop, goes over the top. Oh, catches him. Going for that cross body. What are we going to see here? Oh, an amazing display of power. Once again, he leaves the ring, allowing Killer Carl Davis to come in without the tag. AWOL quickly ducks that clothesline and then retreats to the corner. Referee calling for Carl to let him come back into the ring. Interesting clash of styles. We see two luchadors and two heavyweights. The pace of this match might change dramatically throughout. AWOL calling for a test of strength. Carl not quite trusting it, especially with AWOL's new attitude. Oh! Should have stayed with his instincts and not trusted him on that. Butterfly suplex. AWOL. Stays on top of Killer Carl here. Will AWOL enter that singles Tornado Lucha Libre title tournament? Or will he find a tag team partner? Maybe bring back one of the old casualties of war. Tag with them. I've heard rumors that Grenade might want to come back and tag with the wall. Here comes El Furioso and Anarchia. Could we see a Luchador tag team in our tag team title tournament? Or will these two men want to chase singles titles? Very interesting. Remember, you have to choose one or the other on these two tournaments. 
It's got to be either an entry into the singles or an entry into the tag. You cannot do both. It's like AWOL and Carl are fighting to the back, leaving the two luchadors in the ring. Anarchy has got some kind of armbar submission. Wait, somebody's coming to the ring here. Is that Rocco Valentino? What's Rocco Valentino doing in this ring? He grabs a hold of El Curioso, kicks him in the stomach. This match has been disqualified. Oh! The El Finito finishing move of Rocco Valentino right there. He's called for a microphone. What's he doing in this ring? Demands Anarchia come in the ring too. If I were Anarchia, I would not consider that. Crowd's letting Rocco know how they feel. Just because I lost last week, now, now all of a sudden, I'm not invited. Just because Sonny C comes out here and cheats. Look at my forehead, Ray. I saw you cheering with all the fans. Well, we all know Sonny C didn't cheat. Sonny C is a cheater. Sonny C won by cheating. You think that's funny? Now. Rocco sounds like a bitter Betty right now. Oh, there's no need for that. So we got to turn. Oh, Furioso's done nothing wrong. Invite me to your tournament, Ray. Invite me to your tournament, Ray. Whoa! I'm tired. That's and outcast tired Kenny Campbell. Of you keeping the VIP. Rocco and he down. used to tag together as the VIP crew down. back in Oklahoma Championship Wrestling. We got uh, something to prove. Apparently they were gonna tag in the tag tournament. Or asking to anyways. The tag tournament. The VIP crew, Rocco Valentino, and the Outcast. So I accept your invitation. Well, there's... He wasn't invited. Okay, Beating up a guy doesn't mean you suddenly get to come into a tournament. Oh, and he hits another El Finito on El Furioso. Now, the point is, he's had enough when I say he's had enough. If you be kind and polite, like a good commissioner should be, and you invite people. You invite the best in the business. Which is me, Ray. I didn't cheat. Sonny C cheated. Well, we saw plenty of cheating. And Sonny C still found a way to beat you, Rocco. You know. Is there something really cool you could... Hey, I know. I'm still a little shocked to find out that El Anarchia was actually outcast Kenny Campbell. Do a good old outcast, too. Oh, here's a, looks like the patented outcast elbow, yes. That's what we are seeing. Oh, no. Outcast going up top. There's no doubt these are two dominant wrestlers. They would be a formidable tag team to face in the tag team tournament. But I don't know if Ray is going to capitulate to this type of action to give them a spot in the tournament. Invite us to your party, and then bad things don't happen to bad people. And by bad people, I had about enough of this too. Yeah. Oh. That's that's Justin Lee. Former heavyweight champion Justin Lee. Have you missed us? I think Ray thinks you've missed us. So Ray, well, he and Outcast have a history, and he and Rock will have a history. Somewhat shocking to find out that El Furios and Anarchy were actually Justin Lee and Outcast. And the VIP crew looks to have reform their team here. And Ray is great. Oh, there's Sonny C to help Justin Lee out. Well, it looks like it's official. The VIP crew is now in the tag team tournament. Rocco and Outcast. 
That's one of the teams we've learned is now in the tournament. We can only assume we're going to see one of the other teams will be the Heat Seekers. And here we go. We have a match featuring Dr. Rick Styles. Now, here's a good question. Will Romero and Deuce tag team the Latin Apostles, or will either of them choose to go after singles titles? I have it on good authority that Deuce Rodriguez is strongly consider entering into the singles tournament, which means Romero would need to find a new tag partner if he wants to chase the tag team belts. Dr. Rick Styles and Romero have had their problems. So we can assume the VIP crew and the Heat Seekers are going to be two of the teams in the tag team tournament. Will we see Excal and Tyler Bateman? We know they've teamed up as of late. Another tie up. Will we see the Casualties of War in that tournament? Who will we see in the singles tournament? These are all great questions. We're going to have to find out some answers to when those brackets are finally released. you got to watch Dr. Rick Styles. He'll take every shortcut there is. Romero, the perennial fan favorite here in CPW. Yeah, you can hear the crowd clap when you get behind him. Tie up. Takes him to the ropes. Takes all of his four seconds. Oh, goes for a wild right hand. Romero catches him. Close line. One, two. Oh, not a two count even. Romero, belly to backs. Goes for another cup. Oh, looks like he's going for his Romero leg lock. Sort of a reverse figure four hold modified. Oh, Dr. Rick. Looks like he's fish hooking and eye gouging all at the same time. It's an effective way to break a hold. Looks like the hold did some damage, though. Romero smartly stays on top of him. And airborne. Dr. Rick Styles cowering, avoiding the fight here. Something tells me this might be a trap. Yep. It's with a big forearm, big right hand. Irish whip. Big clothesline from Dr. Rick. Still feeling the effects of that leg lock from earlier. Is he going to go for a leg lock of his own? Oh, drops a leg on the inner thigh. L upper inner thigh. Might have been a low blow. It's a spinning toe hold. Fans trying to get behind Romero here. Dr. Rick may not be popular, may not be a fan favorite, may not even follow the rules, but you can't deny he's an effective wrestler. He gets the job done. He's had quite a bit of success in his career. Oh, looks like we're going for another shortcut here. He undoes the tape on his wrist. He's going for a choke. Romero fights back. Big right hand. Big right hand. Another one. He's going for it. Oh, drop toe hole. Looks like he might have been going for that big forearm of his. Dr. Ray hooks him in the front face lock. Goes for the suplex. Oh, gets him over. That's a big man to get over. Impressive of Dr. Rick showing off his own power there. Not quite enough to finish it, though. Just barely gets that shoulder up. Dr. Rick using all of his weight to try to make a lot of pressure. Oh, gets caught in the gut. Romero got his knees up. Oh, now he uses his own shoe as a weapon. 
not sure if that's illegal. Oh! Tries to get his shoe back on, and Dr. Rick took that momentary distraction. Like I said, you can't take your eyes off Dr. Rick Styles. He's methodical. He's always thinking. He's always looking for that opportunity. Sends Romero into the turnbuckle. Irish whip. Oh. Devastating. Dr. Rick has been impressive so far. The ring veteran knows what he's doing in there. Uh-oh. Reversal. We're going to see the Romero crunch. Oh! One, two, oh! Just barely kicks out. Shocking. Can't believe Dr. Rick kicked out of that. Smartly retreats to try to recover. Looks like he's coming back in the ring. Oh, catches Romero momentarily looking away. Oh, he has the ring hammer. He's got the ring bell hammer. Oh, that'll get you disqualified right there. I didn't see him grab that from Ray Martinez's table. Disqualification win for Romero. Dr. Rick knew he was in trouble. Wait a second, is that, is that all action Anthony Jackson? What is he doing? What is he doing? I've never known him to help anybody else out but himself. Fall away slam. Comes out and makes the save for Romero. I don't understand this at all. We're going to have to find out from all action what... I don't understand these actions. By all action, why would he make the save for Romero? These two are no longer working together. They have a history in a previous organization, but lots of questions here. Very strange night here in TPW. Romero seems to be a little out of it from those ring bell hammers to the head. Probably confused as well as to why all action would come make the save for him. Dr. Rick Styles making friends on his way. Adios, amigos. All right. We have Deuce Rodriguez and Sudden Impact. Deuce Rodriguez, of course, normally tags with Romero. Of course, the Sudden Impact tag team themselves. I would imagine there's a good chance we see those two tag team in the upcoming tag team tournament. Makes perfect sense. An established tag team like them. Just waiting for their time to shine, their time, their breakout moment. Could this be it for them? And we understand now that Deuce Rodriguez has actually entered the singles TLL tournament, the Tornado Lucha, Tornado Lucha Libre tournament. So that means Romero will not have him as a tag team partner. We heard Ray Martinez say earlier, you must either choose one title tournament or the other. You cannot do both. Oh, good move from Sudden Impact right there on Deuce Rodriguez. So the question becomes, who will be Romero's tag team partner? if he chooses to enter the tag team title tournament or will he enter the single tournament? oh single arm DDT from sudden impact holds down the man's hand with one foot and then stomps on his looks like his shoulder joint with the other this mass tag team we've seen them have some success Irish whip. Oh, Deuce catches him. DDT from Deuce Rodriguez. Nice move. Now, referee and Deuce seem to be having a conversation. What, what is Carl Davis doing out here? 
comes out and he starts attacking Sudden Impact. Deuce is distracting the referee. I don't understand this at all. Deuce and referee Mike Two are locked up there having a conversation and Killer Carl Davis just plants a devastating clothesline. Deuce. It looks like Deuce Rodriguez will win this one thanks to some interference from Killer Carl Davis. I don't understand this at all. We saw Killer Carl Davis earlier in a match. Maybe he had something personal against the sudden impacts. I don't know. All right, now we see the other heat seeker, Ron Mack, against the young light heavyweight rookie, X-Cal. We see X-Cal frequently teamed with Tyler Bateman. Is there a good chance we're going to see those two in the tag team title tournament? This could be a preview. Maybe the Heat Seekers versus X-Cal and Tyler Bateman will be one of the matches we see in this tournament. A lot of good questions. Oh! Ron Mack showing his power right there. Ties up again. Yeah, Excal does to stand a chance when it comes to power for power against a big man like Ron Mack. Giving up a good possibly 200 pounds at this point to Ron Mack. Calls for a test of strength. Wouldn't advise that. Oh, switches hands on him. Not, not sure on this strategy. Uh, oh, goes for a spinning kick. Didn't even move Ron Mack. Smartly retreats. Everything in that strategy. I'll give it to the rookie. That was an interesting idea. Good in theory. Didn't quite work out the way he planned. Bob Mexcal, I got to stay moving. Oh, big hip toss, standing hip toss. You got to keep this match moving. The longer it goes, maybe you can wear down the big man. Superior cardio, spirit conditioning. This is not where you want to be, though. Just devastatingly picks him up. Oh, oh, he lands on his feet. Oh, kick to the knee. There you go. Take out the wheels. Hits the ropes. Big drop kick into the man's face. Excal's trying to find a way here. Oh, that's a kick out with authority if you ever see one. How often do you see somebody get injured having the other man kick out? Launched him into the air. Came down chest first. And he chokes him. This is a pretty big mismatch right here. I, Excal, a talented light heavyweight. Ron Mack would fall into that super heavyweight. Play. Big right hand. Irish whip from Ron Mack. Excal lands on, oh, he lands on the second row, does a backflip, catches him with a forearm, knee, 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 forearm. Got Ron Mack off guard, he doesn't know what tip him. Got him in the corner. Crowd firmly behind Excal. Oh, he went for an Irish whip. That's not a good move, rookie. Oh, and he's choking him in the corner. Fans firmly behind Excal. They want him to find a way to beat this big man. We got an actual David and Goliath situation going on right here, though. Goes for a chop. Yeah, that's not going to work. Oh, just picks him up by his throat. There we go. Irish whip from Ron Mack. Oh, nearly decapitates Excal. One, two, kicks out of two. Got to imagine if Ron Mack had used any of his weight for that cover, this match would be over now. Looks like he's interested in some more punishment. Wait, here comes Tyler Bateman. Oh, oh. Looks like he was just trying to make a mercy save for X-Cal and in the process accidentally kicked his own teammates. Ron Mack saw him out of the corner of his eye, ducked. Oh, there's Ron Mack's finisher. Tyler Bateman frustrated. His attempt to do something nice backfired. He was just looking out for his own teammate. 
trying to even the odds a little. And uh, yeah, Ron, Ron Max is going to win this one. And Excal and Tyler Bateman, they've had a little miscommunication as of late. they got to get on the same page for this tournament. This isn't going to work out well for them if they don't find a way to get cohesive again. All right, here's our main event for the evening, a big hardcore title match. Good rematch. We've seen El Dragon Rojo and all action Anthony Jackson before in one of the most intense hardcore matches we've ever seen here in CPW. We're getting a rematch. El Dragon Rojo. Catches all action sleep and gets this match started. In a hardcore match, the referee's just there to make a count. He doesn't even stay in the ring. Oh, big spear from all action Anthony Jackson. Earlier tonight, we saw all action interfere to save Romero Contreras from the Heat Seekers. We still don't understand. Now, you'll see on the outside there, there's all action's Butler Keebler. Could those two possibly form a tag team? We've never seen Keebler in the ring. Could all action be so egotistical that he thinks he and Keebler could win a tag team tournament with him doing all the heavy lifting and Keebler just standing there? These are good questions. Is that a plunger? Oh my gosh. That's disgusting. Thank God he's wearing a mask. Hopefully it's a clean plunger. Anything goes here in a hardcore match, though. Plunger's loud. Oh! Gets the big luchador over. El Dragon Rojo, possibly the biggest luchador here in TPW. All action uses the nickname, the 300-pound luchador, but he is not luchador. El Dragon Rojo actually is a luchador. Irish whip. Goes for that. Oh! All action, a former football player who's going for that shoulder tackle in the corner. El Dragon Rojo smartly moves out of the way. Goes to work on his own. Irish whip, corner to corner. Is he going to follow it up? What are we going to see here? Ooh, cartwheel. Oh, very nicely done. We see a little bit of that big luchador talent right there. Cartwheel into a spear. Now, because this is hardcore, of course, it's got some kind of metal sheet, some kind of cooking sheet, I believe. Trying to get all action back to his feet so he can get a good shot at his head. Oh! Use the edge of that. Panda. It's a good way to gash somebody open. Oh, sliding drop kick into the man's ribs. All action. That's one way to shut him up, I guess. King of the 40 minute promo. Big right hand from El Dragon Rojo. El Potato. Once again, this is a hardcore match. The referee is just there to make the count. Looks like El Dragon Rojo has him in a submission. The referee asks him, do you give up? Do you give up? Now, if I were El Dragon Rojo, I'd keep an eye out for that Butler Keebler. Not unheard of for him to come in and interfere. Looks like El Dragon Rojo decides it's going to have to beat him down a little more before he can quite get him top rope oh big splash to the lower back is that enough oh man. speaking of the butler keebler it's not a disqualification because this is a hardcore match it might have been a the finish right there keebler interferes to break up the pin attempt it's like el dragon rojo's got the chair now Oh, goes to work again on that lower back. This luchador knows what he's doing. Oh, just another devastating shot to the back. Oh. 
Big right hand to the stomach. We have not seen Anthony Jackson mount much offense at all in this match. Very impressive from El Dragon Rojo. All action Anthony Jackson is a former multiple time champion in many, many organizations, both tag teams and singles titles. So for this young luchador to have this kind of a showing against him is, is impressive. Looks like he puts that chair in the corner. What are we going to see here? Irish whip. Reversal. Oh. That plan backfired on El Dragon Rojo. He catches the chair himself. All action. Goes for a quick cover here. One, two. It's not going to be enough to keep the big luchador El Dragon Rojo down. The Red Dragon. We're going to see here. Oh, big belly to belly. Oh, my gosh. Did you see how high they went on that? Very impressive display of power from all action Anthony Jackson. He may be a bit of a showboat sometimes, but you can't deny he is very, very talented. Speaking of showboating, if he could stop wooing and perform a wrestling move, that would be great. Oh, Questionable contact made there as to where that elbow quite landed. Was it in the lower gut or lower than that? I couldn't tell. It's a hardcore match, so anything goes, it doesn't really matter. Looks like now he wants to use that same chair we saw used earlier. What do we got here? Plant some face first on the chair. Oh, he goes to the ropes, top rope, standing on the second. Shakes his hips, drops an elbow, sandwiching the man's head between his elbow and that chair. That's hardcore. Oh, calling for a ladder. I guess we're seeing a little bit of everything in this match. Plungers, metal sheets, chairs, now ladders. Oh, low blow from El Dragon Rojo. Uh-oh. Butterfly suplex onto the chair. Sorry, Butterfly DDT. Is that going to be enough to finish this one? Kicks the chair out of the ring. Wants room for something, some kind of maneuver he's going to make. Wait, wait, what is he doing? He's planting the ladder on top of all action Anthony Jackson. He's positioning him. Is he is he going to hit this the moonsault on the ladder? Oh my gosh, this could this could really hurt somebody. Oh, that's devastating. Go for the cover, young man. You're going to win this one. Oh. oh, did he hurt himself, though? Oh, yeah. It looks like he might have landed face first on the ladder himself in the process. First to his feet. Oh. That's got to be it. El Dragon Rojo goes for the cover. One, two, three. We've got a new hardcore champion, El Dragon Rojo. What an amazing match for both men here. The Butler Keebler comes in to check on all action Anthony Jackson. Some help he was. We've got a new hardcore champion, El Dragon Rojo. Congratulations to him. Looks like El Dragon Rojo's going back in the ring. Whoa, what is this about? 
El Dragon Rojo's got a bit of a... Wait, is that... Who's making the... Is that Romero? Romero's in the ring. Looks like he's returning the favor from earlier. All action saved him from the Heat Seekers. Now he's saving him from this post-match attack of El Dragon Rojo. What is going on with these two? Let's see. Maybe we're about to get an explanation. Are they gonna... Are they gonna collide? Did he say we're even? I, I don't understand what's going on here. Looks like all action's got a microphone. Maybe we're gonna find out right now what's going on here. Colin Romero back to the ring. Oh, Keebler, thank you for that. He's fanning his, his man down here. Let's see here if we can get some audio. There we go. You align yourself with the man of the company, the leader. Rojo stole my belt. All action touched Romero, and Romero wasn't having it. He keeps slapping his hand away. And he returns the favor, slaps his hand away. Oh. I hope you can say that on TV. Abs are a magnet and for I'm gold. Get that tag team title. Now Keebler has an injury that I cannot miss. Yes, there. Yeah, I think he had that. Where he can't tag with me in the tournament, but maybe you can. Oh, now we understand why. He wants those tag team belts, and he thinks Romero will tag with him. That's why he made the save earlier. Enchilada. We can be the Mexican combo platter. The Mexican combo platter. What is this? The big old burrito and the whole enchilada? says he'll agree to tag with him if he keeps Keebler the butler on a leash. Oh, Keebler stands up for himself. Keeper. <laughs> Looks like he's agreed to it. We now have another entry into the tag team tournament. The Mexican combo platter? It's going to be an interesting tag tournament. So we know the VIP crew, the Mexican combo platter, Tyler Bateman and X-Cow, the Heat Seekers. We know at least four teams. Who else are we going to see? What an interesting turn of events we have. This will be a formidable tag team. That's no doubt about that. The 
exciting things going on here in TPW. Two title tournaments starting next week. The TLL singles title and the TPW tag team titles will be up for grabs in these tournaments. Says Ray Martinez. Tune in next week.